Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life. Now recently I started a series entitled what I'm going to wear this week. So my goal is to do that at least once a month, maybe sometimes twice a month, but at least once a month. I pick out five outfits and, and try to put them together to see if this is something I will potentially wear to work this week. And most of the time I, I probably will wear it since it's already set out from the shoes to the pants or the skirt and the jacket, what have you. Just going to put that together. That's way, that way I'm ready for the entire week. Now, if that is something you're interested in, stay tuned. Now let's get started. Is that Angie phony? Yeah. We're gonna keep this one in here too. <laughs> Before I get started, let me tell you about my outfit of the day. I'll start with my earrings. These are some kind of wide silver hoops. They're a hammered metal look. They're not real silver. I think I purchased these from either H&M or Zara. My shirt is from <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. My cami is from Lily Silk. You've heard me talk about Lily Silk before. Most of the time I have on a green one, but this is black. It is really, really pretty. Look at the lace detail on here. And it comes down to a deep V, but it's very, very pretty. We'll show you the back, but microphone stuck back there. So it comes down in the back with the lace as well. What I really like about these camis is how wide they are. So you can wear your uh, bra and you can't see the strap I have on a black bra. And it's just very, very pretty and very feminine. My arm candy are a couple of bracelets. This one, should I come close? Yeah, come on. This, these two are David Yerman inspired and I purchased these from Amazon and they're actually on my Amazon storefront. I'll put a link in the description box. This is just like an old fashioned link silver chain. I think this is from H&M. And this is a bracelet I purchased from Lili Sadohi. It's no longer available, unfortunately, but it looks really pretty. I like the combination of the silver and the gold and this has some white enamel on it, but it's a pretty silver and gold combination. So I match my metals. My earrings are silver and you'll see my shoes have black with gold detail. Now these pants I purchased from Zara probably three or so weeks ago. I forgot what they call these. I, they used to wear them in the fifties a lot, but they're high waisted. I think they call them pedal pushers. I'm not sure. But they're very, very comfortable. I don't think they're available any longer, but I'll look but they have a lot of stretch to them. And if you can find them, I'm five, three and a half. So if you're taller than that, they're gonna be like a, a ankle length on you a little bit higher. I forget what they call those. Or they'll be above the ankle. But this is where they hit me and I'm five, three and a half. My shoes are Louis Vuitton. They have the gold detail on the side. And this is what they look like. They're like the gladiator sandals. They're very, very comfortable. These are from last year. So if you're looking for them, I don't know if they're available anymore, but if you can find them, they're very comfortable and they're true to size. I wear an eight and a half and don't look, my second toe is longer than my first toe. So I always have to wear my shoes, make sure my second toe is not over the front. But these are right at uh, an eight and a half. So they're very, very true to size. I love these. They have white stitching detail around the side, but they're very, very comfortable. And oh yes, and my scent of the day is Cloud by Ariana Grande. Now, I was looking to get um, some Baccarat 540 perfume by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean, and the perfume is very... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right? mm -mm. That was funny. <laughs> no, and the perfume is very expensive, and I saw a lot of reviews on dupes for Baccarat 540, and this was one of them. So this perfume, I think, might have been $30. The Baccarat is around $300, $350. So I said, well, let me try this to see if I actually like it enough to spend that much money on it before. Um, that's a lie. Do a good wear test with this to see if I like it, and I really, really like it. So I probably will purchase the Baccarat in the future, but this is an excellent dupe. So if you ever heard about Baccarat 540, if you want to see what the, the scent smells like, 
This Ariana, and the Ariana Cloud smells exactly like Baccarat 540. It doesn't come like this. It comes in like a white cloud thing, but um, it was ugly. So I, so I pulled it off, but it smells identical to Baccarat 540. But of course, Baccarat has lots of oils in it and it lasts a lot longer than this scent, but it's very beautiful. It's a beautiful, and it's a unique scent. I can't find a way to describe it. It feels very, very, or it smells, it smells very, very complex. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Although this smells like an exact dupe, Baccarat just have, has a more sensual scent to it and just lingers and it's just warm and rich, but this is a great dupe. So again, if you are thinking about buying Baccarat 540, this Ariana Cloud is a great dupe. Okay, family, this is look number one. I have on my Banana Republic blazer. I kept on my Lily Silk cami, and I honestly cannot remember where I purchased this skirt, but I love it. You can tell I purchased this because of the print. It just gives this entire outfit dimension and character. It just, it just draws your eye to it. It's a mini skirt. I don't think it's silk. I think it's probably a silk blend. And then I have on my Jimmy Choo heels. Now, you don't have to have Jimmy Choo heels, but a nice pair of black heels would look, any pair of black heels would look great with this outfit. But this is really comfortable. It's warm enough because I'm always cold again. So the jacket will make sure I'm warm. The silk is very breathable. It's, it moves, so I'll be very, very comfortable. I think, yes, this is definitely a, I'm gonna wear this on Monday morning outfit. I love the gold button detail on the blazer. The shoes are from, <laughs> okay. You want me to start over? Yeah. You're Cause I didn't do it right. I didn't start. Yeah, and you're thinking Okay, family, this is my next look. I always wear small earrings to work. Uh, I don't mind having a little dangle, but I never wear statement jewelry to work. So these are some cute, small, dangly Chanel earrings. I paired it with this really pretty, it looks like a set, but it's not. Both of these pieces, this shirt and these pants are from Express. And I don't even think I bought them at the same time, but the colors match perfectly. It's like a soft mauve pink. This is a very, very soft neutral type look. I love the gold details on the blazer, the buttons here. This is a lioness blazer. I purchased this particular one from Nordstrom probably a couple years ago, but I just love the cream of it. I think it's really, really beautiful. It's like a double breasted look. I always slide my sleeves up. It has the gold button detail here. And you can see the collar of my shirt, just, I'm sorry, the sleeve of my shirt just peeking out a little bit. But this is a very soft, neutral color. These pants are very form-fitting, slim. They're like ankle length. I'm five, three and a half, and they hit right at my ankle. And these are some tried and true heels I purchased at Zara a couple of years ago that I absolutely love. Was worth every single penny that I purchased for them. Purchased for them. Purchased them. <laughs> that I purchased them for. I love this look. This is a definite yes. We'll wear this to work. I love this look. It's very pretty. Feels very, very dainty. Well, fam, this is my next look. I'll start with my earrings. They're a simple pearl. You know, I love a simple pearl for business looks. I think that just chic and just very, very professional or a simple diamond, but I like a simple pearl more than I like a simple diamond. So that's what these are. This necklace here is actually one long necklace. And I think it's a Chanel Duke, but it is from Amazon as well. You know, you can get the look without the price tag, honey. So that's what this is. And I just wrapped it around twice. I like that layered look. This shirt, of course, is one of my favorites from Banana Republic. It's the dress shirt from Banana Republic. And I really think this is a petite shirt because it's, it hits right here, right here. And the sleeves are shorter than my normal white shirt. So I really, really think this is a petite. And uh, I normally wear a size six in shirts and in my dress slacks, I like to wear a size six. In my jeans, I wear a four, but I like for my slacks to just skim my no hips <laughs> or uh, hips. I like for them to lay. I don't like for them to be tight. These are a recent purchase from Zara. I love these pants. It also has the button detail here, but like the shorts, the buttons are connected 
through the pants, but they're very, very pretty. This color is very vibrant, very fresh, very spring-like. It has a small little uh, faux pocket here, but this is a very slimming and very tapered. And I have my Jimmy Choo pumps on. They're a navy blue, but they're so dark, they look almost black. So I can get away with wearing these with black outfits or uh, blue outfits. And I chose these particular shoes because this shirt is actually a dark, dark gray pinstripe, which you really can't tell, but I think it looks very, really cute with the entire look. But I think this is my favorite, to be honest. I like the button detail here. It matches the detail of the necklace and just the pearls. I just like this entire look, everything that's going on here. But yeah, this is a cute, but professional business look. And I think, yeah, I think this is my favorite for the week. Well, this is the next outfit. I'll start with my simple pearl studs. You know, I, we talked about that already. And it matches the polka dots in this blue shirt. This shirt is from Express. Look how beautiful and feminine this is. It has the chiffon, it has the a bellowy sleeve detail. Very, very feminine, but I do have a heavy cami up under it. It's a dark brown chocolate. I purchased it from Zara, so you can't see through it here. But I just love the juxtaposition of the navy uh, shirt and the black trousers. I think they play off each other very well. And then the white polka dot gives it some extra dimension. But these are my Rachel Parcell slacks that I purchased from Nordstrom. They're no longer available on Nordstrom and I actually couldn't find them anywhere. So I'll keep looking up. If I find them, I'll put them in the description page. But again, I love slacks that come all the way down to the floor. And I have on my <laughs> my Jimmy Choo navy blue heels um, that you can just barely catch a glimpse of from under the bottom of the slacks. And I did have these slacks tailored to hit right here where these shoes are. So again, I like my slacks to hit to the floor if, like, if at all possible. But this is a very, very neutral with just a little pop of something other with the polka dots on the shirt. This is really, really pretty. I felt like I didn't need any accessories. I don't like to wear a lot of accessories to work. Just a simple earring, maybe a simple bracelet, my wedding ring, and sometimes another ring on my other finger like here, but I don't like to wear a lot of jewelry to work if I don't have to. But yes, this is a very neutral and very simple, but very feminine and professional outfit. This train is moving choo-choo. Gotta get you oh. Okay, family, this is my final look. Now, normally I don't think there's a nine times out of 10 chance that I would not wear this dress to work because it is denim. But when I start doing these videos, I'm gonna do Fridays as Dress Down Friday because I live for Dress Down Friday. So I thought this would be the perfect, perfect outfit for Dress Down Friday. So I have on some Earrings here, again, I think I got these from H&M or Zara. They're triple layered, bigger than I would wear during the week, but it's dressed down Friday. They're not big statement earrings, but they're a little larger than I would normally wear during the week. So I have these on, I have my cross necklace that my husband bought me. This dress is from Gap. I purchased it last year on sale. It is a true wrap dress. There's a hole here to pull a string through and tie it up. But I love the length. The length is perfect. It's a midi length. It's a thin denim, very, very thin and very dark. So I really think it's pretty. I think it's really pretty. I paired it with these espadrilles that I purchased from DSW. And I think this color is called tan, but I call it camel. I love these shoes. It has the rivets on it and I love the, I love that detail. It has the, the toe has the same material as the heel and they're not heavy at all. It's a nice wide toe base. They do have these in a navy blue suede and they also have them in a black. I'll put them in the description page below. But these are very comfortable. This entire outfit, this dress is comfortable. It's nice and A-line. It's nice and, that's the speaker. It's nice and roomy and it flows. It's not heavy at all. It was very easy to press. Just a very, very feminine, perfect, perfect dress. I love this dress. This is called the A-line. This is 
uh, or fit and flare. No, no, this is not called an A-line. It's called a fit and flare. Fit it here and it flares out. It's a very feminine cut and I absolutely love it, but this is a perfect dress down Friday outfit. You don't always have to wear jeans on dress down Friday. You can wear khakis or just something a little more comfortable. It doesn't necessarily have to be jean, even though this is a denim dress, but it's not your traditional jeans. So that's why I chose this dress and it's very comfortable. But this is my last outfit. Well, that's it family. I hope you enjoyed all of my looks. Now, before I go again, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, come on, hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And also, if you enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed any of my videos in the past or in the future, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know not only that you watched the video, but you actually enjoyed the video. So it's very, very good for my algorithm. Now, thank you so much, family. I really, really appreciate you spending some of your most valuable time with me. Have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.